students good evening so what do you think about thermodynamics are able to hear my voice could you hear my voice now am i audible yes sir okay so what do you think about uh, uh, thermodynamics where it, it will applicable where we are using and why we have to study this thermodynamic what is the real time application do you have any idea if it is wrong also no problem 
Sir, it's a branch of science that deals with heat and other expansion, sir. It's a branch of science? That deals with e heat. Okay, good. Then anybody? Anything different from this? So, in physics also, we are studying thermodynamic. In chemistry also, we are studying thermodynamic. What is the difference between these two? Do you observe any thermodynamic process in your home or day-to-day -day life? Do you observe? What? Oh, vessels are cooker. Vessels. Then? Heater, sir. What, what? What, Hari? Heater. Heater, sir. Heater. Then? Sham, do you say something? Sham? Naveen? So what is the basic difference between thermodynamics in physics and chemistry? There we are different from the physics. Both are thermodynamics only. In what way we are different from the physics? So there also you are going to study the same law, first law of thermodynamics, second law of thermodynamics and third law of thermodynamics. But what is the difference? What is the difference? What is the difference, Mark? What is the difference? Say, yes, sir, no. No, sir, no idea. Okay. So, let's get it. Nobody coming? Okay. Okay. Well. Okay. So thermodynamic. Dynamic means movement. Isn't it? Thermo means heat. So we are going to study the flow of heat or energy change. That only in the unit. And in the physics, how the engine does the work. Okay. So, only you have to calculate the work done. So, in the physics, only you will calculate the work done by the engine or by the system that you will do it. But here, the chemical chemistry, we are going to calculate the amount of energy transferred or amount of energy consumed or amount of energy evolved during the course of reaction. So, thermo means heat. So, dynamic means flow. So, we are going to study the heat flow in this unit. Simply, in the home, we are uh, uh, having some utensils. For example, you are heating a pot of water and you are covered with the plate for some time. After that, what will happen? You are not directly heating the plate, but the plate will get the hot, no? Isn't it? Wait, let those who should move those current air level extend now. The current is not will get the heat, you know. So, but you are not showing that your uh, spoon to the flame, but the heat can be transferred. So, the energy can be transferred from one place to other place, isn't it? So, the flow of energy will be there. Am I right or not, ma? Yes, sir. So. The chemical thermodynamics in thermodynamics we are going to see the heat 
either it is absorbed or it is evolved in the chemical reaction we are seeing that one bond is forming another one bond is cleaving right or otherwise hydration taking place for example you are you can take simply in the thermodynamic we can uh, whatever we are doing the move you are taking a spoon of uh, sugar into the one container and spoon of um, salt in the one uh, soap powder one container la you can take the sugar or salt another container you take the soap powder so if you are mixing when you are uh, touching that so you can feel two different uh, changes or otherwise one hand you have a spoon uh, some powder soap powder another hand you have the salt or uh, sugar sugar so you dip in your uh, hand into the water so what happen one hand will feel the heat another hand will feel the chillness so why it feel hot why it feel chillness so the heat energy get absorbed from the surrounding or evolved through the surrounding so the energy exchange is taking place that's what only we are going to see in the thermodynamics okay whatever chemical reaction you are doing you can give the energy so the energy can be transformed one form into another form what are the various form we can transfer the energy generally so i will write here itself so when you have the chemical energy due to the chemical reaction the energy get evolved no that is chemical energy so this chemical energy can be transferred into electrical energy same way the mechanical energy mechanical energy get transferred into electrical energy and the solar energy which can be transferred into electrical energy and nuclear energy that can be changed into electrical energy and then the thermal energy can be changed into mechanical energy which also changed into electrical energy and then wind energy can change into mechanical energy that can be changed into electrical energy so these are the various sources of energy okay so here look this the chemical energy you can change it into electrical energy same way the nuclear energy you can change it into electrical energy or otherwise if you are taking only the chemical reaction the chemical energy you can convert it to another energy so you can transform one energy into another so you are taking two reaction you are reacting together then it gives the energy so that energy we can utilize for some other purpose if you are taking the country growth so that will be calculated in the energy conversion for example we are taking the india mills how many power plant how much power we are consuming how, how much uh, uh, country it's a fulfill of electricity so by based on that only the progress of the country will be monitored okay so we are not yet satisfied but yet they will calculate the energy resource okay now look this picture we are not going to into the subject directly first we look this picture so in the picture we have here barium hydroxide and ammonium salt this will be the barium hydroxide salt and then will be the ammonium salt so when these two solutions plus contain two salt separately so once if you are putting the water into that okay so one feel cold and another feel uh, if you put the water okay so the couple of minute the plus boden frozen frozen solid solidify together so if you are inverting the solution will stick on that okay the flask frozen so what happen you are taking the ammonium salt you are having the iron hydroxide then the two solution you are mixing the salt will frozen 
So why it grows? In? So there is a chemical reaction between that. Then it gives the energy. It may give an out or it may take from the surrounding. So how the chemical reaction is occurring? So what is the energy involved in that? That we are going to study in this unit. So next, so you can see that what is this? What is this, ma? Huh? Car. But it will be taken from the. The energy will be taken. It's not a fuel run car. It's a solar energy car. So when the sol solar energy coming to that photovoltaic cell, that will be converted into mechanical energy that drive the car. So you are converting one energy into another energy. So each will have their energy. So in this picture, the solar powered uh, powered vehicle use the for panel of photo here photovoltaic cell here photovoltaic cell. Okay. And then, so now here what they are saying, light energy into kinetic energy. Now we should know when you are taking the energy, so energy is the sum of potential energy, and then kinetic energy, and then internal energy. So potential energy means when they are not doing anything, then it is potential. Kinetic means due to the motion so you can get the kinetic energy so how the potential energy get kinetic energy when the potential energy become kinetic energy so due to the motion only it convert kinetic energy and then all will not convert their energy so each substance or each things will have their own energy that is called internal energy that is called internal energy so look this you you are what you are looking what you are looking? Another bar What is this? Those okay. who are in the online dam. So here you have the water. So at particular height, a particular length, which will be having water. So they are not doing anything. Then their kinetic energy become the potential energy become it has some value. So the potential energy will be measured as a mgh. So the gravitational force, height, and how much mass it was, it was occupied. So it gives the potential energy. When you are opening the dam, what happened? That water flows from above to below. That what happened? Due to the motion, so the kinetic energy increased. So how you will calculate of mv squared? How much mass? How much volume? Uh, how much velocity? Okay? comes out. So that you are measuring kinetic energy. Here you have the MGH. So this is the simplest form of potential energy and kinetic energy. Something is not doing anything, it becomes potential energy. So due to some motion, that particle becomes up to down, down to up means it becomes a kinetic energy. Okay. So now we are going to see that what is uh, so we have to introduce a small terms in that. What is system? What is surrounding? So generally, universe, they will say. Universe means whatever area, imaginary part we are consuming, that is universe. So in the, the all the area, system and surrounding is called universe. So what is system? What is surrounding? When you are taking a classroom, it's a. When you are taking a academy, it's a. Academy is a universe. So here you are taking the physics class. There you have the chemistry class. There you have the math class. Means it has some boundary. So whatever things you are considering, that is the system. Whatever you are having neighbors, that is the surrounding. Are you able to understand, ma? So now the first picture. We have taken the ammonium salt and barium hydroxide. Okay. When you are mixing, that becomes solution. So you have the like this. In the conical flask, okay. In the conical flask, you mix the solution of barium hydroxide and ammonium nitrate with solution. Then it starts solidifying. Okay. So whatever this area you are considering, then it is known as system. So what is system? 
So system is a specific area. So whatever experimental you are carried out, and if it was separated from the surrounding, irkre edathalam vittu yeda matta mana function dilu that is called system. Is it okay, ma? Hello, those who are in the online. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So when you are taking the reaction vessels, in the reaction vessels, they, you have the solution up to this, then this part. then this part and this part becomes surrounding okay so what is universe so if you are considering both this then it become universe am i right or not correct huh? so when you are considering the universe you have the system and the surrounding so what is system whatever the part which are chosen For the chemical reaction, then it is a system. So I am taking ten ml of water, one gram of sugar. So what is it? So I am mixing in the tumbler or glass. Okay, glass tumbler we are mixing. Then what is system? The glass tumbler in that we have ten ml. The ten ml plus sugar only system. The rest of the glass tumbler become sorry. Is it okay? Is it clear? Is it clear, pa? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, same way, you are taking two flasks. The one flask you had at the uh, salt or uh, sugar. You are had the salt or sugar, and then you have the soap powder. Soap powder, or other way, dishwash powder, anything. Okay, when you are putting. So what will happen if you are touching the Uh, surface of that uh, conical glass or tumbler, you can feel the heat. Something will become chillness. Something will become very hot. Do you have feel earlier? How much you remember? Feel from your finger. How much on the mother? So when you are washing your clothes, can it become? You 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 feel become here hot. Then when you are mixing a sugar solution, glucose, and then if you are mixing what you will get, or you are mixing a sugar into the water, what type of feelings you will get? Have you measured? Path ringing lapa? No. So you are considering this system and the surrounding. Suppose heat is taken from the surrounding. Okay. Then that heat you are taken, no, that's why plus heat is absorbed. Then it is called endothermic. Okay. Suppose in the system you are mixing, it given out the heat to the surrounding. So system to surrounding heat energy transferred mean then it is called exothermic. That is, so mix pan dene mix pan mo belly ipak mo rumba hotter. Namma heat lam panna le. Heat panna ma, then the solution you mix panna mudhe, or a solute you or a solvent you mix panna mudhe. If you are feeling hot, then it become exothermic. Tomorrow I will bring the sodium hydroxide. If the sodium hydroxide pellet, if you put it into the water, then it become hot. What is the meaning? So it is a exothermic reaction. So when you are dissolving sodium hydroxide into the water. It evolves the energy. That's why it become exothermic. Okay. That is steam solute. Where solute at the water will pour on. Then you are feeling cool. Then it is a endothermic. Okay. Is it clear, pa? So when the heat is taken from the surrounding, when the system is endothermic, when the heat is given to the surrounding, it is exothermic. So in this unit, we are going to calculate work of the system. When you are taking the system, so wait, like when the cooker powder being there, yeah, that only when the you are dumping something, any non-veg or any vegetarian, you are dumping, then you are giving the heat. So what happened? Initially, the vessel was in the same place. After given the heat, what will happen? So due to the volume get. Expanded and the pressure get increase due to that 
that uh, vessel goes to hub isn't it ma veli pogum pogada hello online it will go out or not sir no sir no va sir ena adu close ah illa sir epdi close la irundha na when you are supplying heat so ulle enna nadakkudhu evaporation nadakkudhu so evaporation nadakkumba liquid become gas so when the liquid become gas the volume get expanded due to the pressure the vessel get given sound no you are not getting the sound ah yes sir so what happen same way if you are taking the sodium metal you are put it the water it become get fire okay so what happen it give the vapors it give the hydrogen gas so that the hydrogen gas will expand due to that this piston get go upwards so because of the sodium metal when you have put it to the water the chemical reaction takes place due to that it give the hydrogen gas when the gas coming means volume get increase due to that the piston will go from the this state to this state this state so initially it was here finally it was here now we are going to calculate how much energy heat energy has been given out it's exothermic exothermic means what will happen the system will give the heat to the surrounding onume illa ipo bomb vedikidhu appdi solrenga it's exothermic evlo amount of energy vedichu veli varudhu oru vandu crackers vandu நீங்க வந்து ஃபயர் பண்றீங்க அப்படினு சொன்னா என்ன அது இட் गिव्स अमाउंट ஆஃப் எனர்ஜி தட் இஸ் कॉल्ड எக்ஸோதெர்மிக் ஓகேவா சோ எண்டோதெர்மிக்னா அப்படி என்னன்னா वी हैव टू सप्लाई द एनर्जी एंड देन ड्यू टू दैट सप्लाईइंग ऑफ एनर्जी द केमिकल रिएक्शन और व्हाटएवर द कंडेंसेशन विल टेक प्लेस दैट इज कॉल्ड एंडोथर्मिक दिस इज द बेसिक डिफरेंस नथिंग इज ஓகேவா இப்போ நீங்க பட்டாஸ் என்ன பண்றீங்க जस्ट यू आर गिविंग अ फायर यू आर गिविंग हीट जस्ट यू आर इनिशिएटिंग immediately what will happen it will get blasted so when it get blasted means the energy given out illiya kudukuda illiya yes sir so generally how they will calculate energy first so you are taken the reaction and then so that we have to do the molecular mass okay va wow. then conversion factor because when it involved the heat energy <coughs> initially what is the heat finally what is the heat so the difference between these two it gives the enthalpy what is enthalpy we are going to learn shortly but so if you are multiplying these factor it gives that how much energy it given out ipo parunga ipo idu eppadi nam measure pandrathu appadina so you have to separate reaction from the surrounding so enna nadakkum ulle nadakkukudiya reaction la irukkudiya heat energy veliya vandu transfer avukudiya So transfer of our kumar na or na isolate kada ayro system. So isolate ano do when you are putting that if you are closing with the thermometer how much heat energy is there through the thermometer we can measure. Simple if you are taking a cup of coffee, okay, that coffee mug you should insulate with the surrounding open atmosphere like that. Man, and the coffee cup per or thermocol layer le actually. Which day if you are closing, so what will happen? The thermocol will not conduct the heat. so it surround your atmosphere from your system when you are dipping the thermometer what is the temperature of the solution it will be measured through the thermometer so by this way also we can use the uh, what is that energy that we can calculate so simplest example for the endothermic reaction what is this hmm? you are getting green color no you are getting green color so when the plant doing photosynthesis right photosynthesis no what is the meaning of photosynthesis hmm? so you are getting green leaf matter green color fruit red color fruit whatever you are getting the fruit so nothing you are supplying to the plant you just give plant you are giving the water whatever carbon dioxide emitted from the Vehicles, some other things it can take now. In the presence of sunlight, it converted the carbon dioxide water into carbohydrates. So, how we doing this uh, photosynthesis? Hmm? 
why it gives why is doing the photosynthesis so you know what provides mm -hmm. ah, how do you know what type of chemical reaction is this whether it is chemical uh, endothermic or exothermic why it is endothermic very good so it absorbs the energy from the surrounding because when you are keeping carbon dioxide on water molecule we cannot synthesize carbohydrate in the laboratory but the same thing it does the plants how it does it so from the sunlight absorbing the heat so when it absorbs the light it undergoes some excitation from the excitation to it coming the ground state it transfer their energy okay that light energy become the uh, it transfer to the chemical and the chemical attain that uh, particular value and providing the carbohydrate that's why it's a purely endothermic so for example when the carbon dioxide plus water it gives carbohydrates and oxygen it gives so this much amount of energy you have to provide you you can take the carbon dioxide and water in the laboratory you provide this much amount of heat energy it never do it never give the carbohydrate because so the plant which have the chlorophyll so which is also important one it absorb the energy from the sunlight when there is a chlorophyll transfer their energy to the carbon dioxide and water then it undergoes so that they measured the amount of energy is 2802.5 kJ per mole okay so it's a type of endothermic reaction adukaga okay. basu okay now each and everything have their own heat capacity okay how you have to measure the heat capacity so look this your first you are taken the kettle okay so what we are thinking we are having a cup of water in the kettle we are thinking that it has a more heat okay but when you take the swimming pool but the swimming pool has different heat energy so the water in the kettle which have the higher temperature but the water in the swimming pool has more heat energy so the difference is there so water has higher temperature here the swimming pool has the higher heat energy so how to measure the heat capacity capacity is equal to heat change divided by temperature change and the normal water you kept in the kettle you are not heating so what will be the temperature it become the same when you are heating the water then it has the temperature will get higher that's why the heat capacity of any material you have to take what is the heat change divided by temperature change that means initially what was the temperature of the water okay so you are heating 5 minutes okay in the 5 minutes how much temperature it get rise what is the difference between that two so you have to take the heat energy divided by temperature change how much temperature change when you are dividing it gives the what is water okay so this is what heat capacity now so what do you understand from this two picture so anyone can answer ma so from the picture 1 and picture 2 what do you understand sir is it atoms sir uh huh atoms atoms la illa pa just you consider a man okay va inda person irukkaru inda rendu diagram la irundhu inna neenga kandu inna purinjukinga what you understand picture one picture two what do you understand ma sir ground state excited state sir no ma 
so we are not talking about the states okay atom molecules edume pannala you are taking that person is uh, going to the ladder step by step by step by okay same thing same person he drop down into the ground okay so when he, from here means what will happen here means what is what you are observing that's what in na ena solla puriyadha pa idu inda padatha paakumbodhu inda padatha paakumbodhu ungalku enna thonudhu what you are thinking adha kuda edho caption potirukku paarenga Hmm. Any? It 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 attack? Very good. So in the, in the, in this picture, it expands. Am I right? So when we are sitting simply, we don't have any energy, right? We are more stable. When we are uh, running. so what we are doing we are giving energy no when you are doing exercise means the energy get loss or gain why we had sugar in nariya per ke enga diabetics varudhu what is the reason what is the reason ma why may most of the people get diabetic most of the people become diabetic you can explain in terms of energy you can think of so i will tell the process we are taking the food now all of you we are eating or not hello one or two person can unmute and can tell no all of all are we are eating no okay so what happened that will be finally convert whatever you are taking starch or cellulose or carbohydrate it become glucose okay that glucose will be stored as glycone in the adipose tissue it's a normal factor whatever food we are eating finally it converted whether you are eating me veg meat or non veg meat finally it converted to glucose the glucose can be converted to glycone that will be stored in your adipose tissue whenever we need energy that uh, glycone only we are taking so when you are going to the hospital they will not put the glucose they will give the saline or uh, glycones because on the main la poita the energy ka kudukiradhu energy factor la idu da involve aagum vera edhum involve aagala okay va so why we are getting diabetic why the people are getting diabetics due to excess of energy so the energy is not get used up okay so they are only in the potential energy எனர்ஜி கெட் யூஸ்ட்னு சொன்னா என்ன ஆகும் உள்ள இருக்குறத போயிட்டு நம்ம திரும்ப திரும்ப ரீயூஸ் பண்ணிட்டே இருக்கலாம் பட் அப்படி சேர்ந்துட்டே இருந்தா என்ன ஆகும் இட் बिकम मोर स्टेबल அந்த டயபெடிக் बिकम स्टेबल புரியுதா கண்ணா இல்ல நம்ம ஈட் பண்ணிட்டு அந்த எனர்ஜி வந்து கன்சூம் பண்ணிடணும் थ्रू ஸ்வெட்டிங் ஆர் थ्रू எக்சர்சைஸ் வாட் ஹேப்பன் வாட் எவர் தி எனர்ஜி தேர் கே वी ஆர் வி ஹேவ் டு லாஸ் இட் தென் only थ्रू தி ஃபுட் अगेन वी कैन கெட் இன் கேஸ் இஃப் யூ ஆர் ஹேவிங் हायर இன் எனர்ஜி the sugar level can be increased in the blood automatically the people will get the diabetes so excess sugar level only they are telling no same way when the person he is simply sitting means when, what will happen nothing is doing so he have lost energy and he is more stable when this person he are going from here to here means he had to have some energy then only he can walk so the potential energy is zero okay so potential energy is zero he is more stable when the potential energy is more he become unstable so in the exothermic reaction the heat is given out okay so you can think of so lower energy is more stable than the higher energy is more stable than higher higher energy when the person become higher energy means he is not unstable 
he has to lock their energy and it become a state okay set iniki idu varaikum podum now we'll go to that what is so so we are going to see the thermodynamics so thermodynamic means heat changes heat flow okay so we are going to concentrate only on the heat so that heat will be in the form of energy so what is energy energy of any system that become equal to kinetic energy plus potential energy plus internal energy so kinetic energy means through the motion so generally in terms of chemical reaction through the motion of electrons so potential energy it can be from the bond energy so we are only focusing on bond energy and electron motions okay so now we are telling the internal energy energy or external energy the internal energy means the system which possesses the energy or the atom or molecule which has the energy you know that is internal energy external energy whatever we are supplying from the outside that is external energy so the external ener internal energy can be changed it can be changed suppose if it increases internal energy get increases when gains energy if it is gains energy or work done on the system idu for example sollunga internal energy it get increases when it gain energy or work will be done on the system any example and then the internal energy get decreases if it loss energy or if system has work idu da the rendu point da we are going to see first we are going to see in the form of energy so energy can be internal or external so when you are get to the internal energy it can be changed so how it change it can increases when it gain energy it can decreases when it lose the energy so gain the energy means work done on the system lose the energy means if the system does the work so you can tell some uh, some other example day to day life la iruka example solunga so na vanna or example solren adha edhukku varum solunga vaporization so vaporization enna artham water eduthukringa heat pandringa it becomes steam water vapor varum adhe pole water eduthringa you are freeze 
then it becomes ice and ice edukringa water la podringa it become water so now you tell me with this example epo internal energy increase avum epo system vela seiyum then where it comes Hmm. Work, which is the work done on the system? Work, which is the work done by the system? Water to so the internal energy become decreases. So, you give an example. So, for example, so camphor. Let's take a look. Camphor is made of vapor or solid. Camphor is made of solid. That part of it is used for that. That becomes a vapor. then what is that sir naphthalene balls sir or oh, naphthalene balls anything it become vapor id enna va irukum solid become gas work why because we are supplying energy then we are converting solid into gas illaya ma அப்ப என்ன அர்த்தம் when you are supplying energy okay so it gains the energy from the surrounding then the internal energy get increases then the work will done on the system in case if the system itself reoriented ice cubes எடுக்கறீங்க வெளிய வெச்சிருங்க அது என்ன பண்ணுது water ஆ மாறுது தன்னாலே நடக்குது இல்லையா so அது எதுல வரும் so then system does the work then by the system no system does the work no same na ipo enna net terms nama kandupidichukom paarenga internal energy endra that so the internal energy in the in terms of translational energy rotational energy vibrational energy nuclear energy electrical energy coulomb force of attraction and potential energy and then kinetic energy these all are the combination anything it can be any form rotation means the microwave vechi namba veetla heat pandrom enna agudhu the content varaikku heat agudhu the container will not get heating correct ah paathirukinga illa appo enna artham there is a change in rotation level that is why the system only get disturbed the remaining things are as such vibrations na vibrate adha elukirathu cut pandrathu so one one pack edut one pack short pandrathu it's coming under vibration energy translation na or edathil irundhu innor edathukku pogumbodhu what is it ground state to excite state so electronic level change avum idella translation energy or uh, electric energy nu solluva okay va so idhu dhaan vandu internal energy now we are going to see open system closed system systems so what is system what is system so this system is here a specific what what we have chosen for the experimental study what is system pa what is system simplest formula sollunga what is system what is system sir it is a place where we are Um, the observation was made. Observation of the yes. So in the hospital patient are coming. Doctor sir, there hospital is there. This is the one system. This is the system. You are going for the hospital. You are going. You are considering a hospital. Okay, wow. In the hospital, you have the patient, doctor. and then hospital okay here what is the system in this area what is the system what is the system hospital is it go any ailment is the go illaya appo yaar is the system patient and doctor so the reaction enga nadakkudhu adha system sorry 
எதிர் இன்டர் ரியாக்ஷன் பண்ணுது அதுதான் சிஸ்டம் அதை சுத்தி இருக்கிறது எல்லாமே சரௌண்டிங் தம்பி புரியுதா எல்லாருக்கும் ஐசோலேட்டம் open system means it is open that means the energy can be exchanged or it can go out anything will happen that is open closed system so one all you are taken in a tumbler with the water hot water kuda they edukenga if the hot water irukuma enna after 5 to 10 minutes some of the water will go as as a vapor then this water becomes chill when the heat is transferred to the surrounding so the system which is open to the surrounding means it's a open system so you can have a tumbler of hot water so some of the hot water become the vapors it go away so finally enna nadakum mass of the system become less so this is called open system closed system means you have the hot water but it was covered with the lid it was covered with the lid so the it can exchange their energy energy can be exchanged but it was closed the mass will not be will not exchange inge enna agudhu mass um exchange agudhu energy exchange agudhu so ana here Isolated system, no? you are having a flask. So, what is the case? There is an insulation. Is there? Is there? So, you are having a hot cup of anything, hot water or cold water, which was sealed at. and then which was covered with the insulation insulation means which will not the energy energy will not be shared with the surrounding so here the mass and the energy can be shared so that is called open system here the energy get shared the mass will not get shared one illa or hot water vachringa mele or கவர் வச்சிருக்கீங்க போகாது So, that is the isolated system. Is it clear? Clear? Is it clear or not? Is it clear? But you people are not answering this. What I can understand, Ma. Okay. Then. so next class we are, we are going to see about the work and heat and thermodynamic process so so i will give the introduction about the thermodynamic process ennik ellar offline classes varvinga annik vandute we will have some we do the some experiment for exothermic and thermodynamic 
you tell all of you tell on that day i will bring the chemical simply for the exothermic reaction and the sodium metal when you have put in the water it become plus no so give the fire how it will be you can see it in the class so when you are coming that day we will have it so the thermodynamic process we can classify into isothermal process adiabatic process isobaric isochoric cyclic and then reversible and then irreversible so these are the process we have the in the thermodynamics so each has a meaning the process in which a state of system changes from one state to another state okay that we can measure in the form of isothermal adiabatic isobaric isochoric cyclic irreversible and reversible isothermal iso means same so the meaning of iso is same so what they mentioned thermal thermal means temperature okay apo isothermal means then bar means what is the unit for bar for isobaric na same pressure isochoric abdin sonna volume isochoric sonna same volume so in the adiabatic process that means uh, the process there is no exchange of heat between the system and surrounding there, that means same temperature adiabatic or otherwise you are maintaining the temperature okay so next class uh, tomorrow we can see the thermodynamic process internal energy we have seen today no we have completed internal energy tomorrow we are going to see what is heat what is work done and then we have to give the first law second law third law first you should understand the chemical reaction there is a bond breaking and there is a bond making okay so when the chemical going to form a bond it can release air energy okay suppose if you want to decompose that chemical into their constituent so it can take the energy so whether the chemical reaction is absorbing it or releasing the heat when it absorb the heat it's endothermic when release the heat it become exothermic okay so what type of reaction it gives out the energy and what type of reaction it takes the energy that only we are going to study in this night so first thing you are converting energy into work so you are transferring one form of energy into another form you are converting so we have what are the types of uh, energy we have transferred so look here we can transfer chemical energy into electrical energy nuclear energy into electrical energy solar energy into electrical energy wind energy into mechanical energy mechanical energy into electrical energy thermal energy wind energy mechanical energy that we can transfer here so we can transfer number of energy that we have to calculate so energy neither creator nor destroyer but you can transform one form of energy into another form that we are going to measure how much amount of energy can transfer that is what we are going to learn in this unit and their applications okay the physics how much work that we have measure here we are going to measure only the amount of energy is it okay is it okay okay sir i will meet you tomorrow okay bye yes sir okay thank you sir